We're back on your home of champions, and once you hear that iconic soundtrack, you know exactly what time it is. The UEFA Champions League is on our minds as we, well, we brace ourselves for the fireworks of the quarterfinal round of play. We are in for some mouth-watering fixtures on Tuesday and Wednesday, so let's refresh your memory on the fixtures at hand. Arsenal against Bayern Munich, Real Madrid against Man City. Those matches will be on on Tuesday. On Wednesday, Atletico Madrid will take on Borussia Dortmund, while Paris Saint-Germain will go up against Barcelona. Now, ahead of uh, this week's action, we want to take a closer look at uh, these quarterfinals from the perspective of the betting man. And that being said, joining us via Zoom is assistant manager of Just Bet, Christopher Sawyers, who apparently is a, a Liverpool fan. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if we should be welcoming him with open arms here on the Sports Max Zone, but, but Chris, welcome uh, to, to the zone. And I just want to know your, you know, uh, initial thoughts on the matchups and uh, what are you anticipating over the next couple of days? Not here. Don't think he's hearing us. Oh. <laughs> so why wouldn't you want to welcome him? Because he's a Liverpool fan. I mean, you know, we have our differences at times in, in terms of we, Manchester we United. We as in Manchester United. Yes, and, and you do support Manchester United, right? It's my team, yes. Ah, right. But I respect Liverpool highly. You do? Yes. All right. Chris, can you hear us? Yes, I'm here. All right. Um, <laughs> welcome to the Sports Max Thanks. Zone. Thanks for having us. All, All right. Me. I just want to know your initial thoughts on the matchups over the next couple of days. Just just briefly as to, to, to where your mind is as, to, as far as who could get the advantage over the first legs here. First and foremost, my mind is not where it's supposed to be based on yesterday's matches. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> uh, all right. For me, the home teams will will take the lead in, in, in the early matchups for, for the first round. Arsenal is playing very well. Bayern Munich is basically, I think they're playing to get the coach fired, even though he indicated that he will leave. Um, they're not playing as well to come to England. And Arsenal. Um, for me, Real Madrid is Mr. Champions League. Man City has been letting a lot of goals. I don't see them stopping Real Madrid from scoring. So I see them, those two, taking the advantage into the second leg. I, I think we have a bit of graphic that we want to show. It's a full page graphic in terms of the odds for uh, these matches over the next couple of days. And, and I just wanted to explain uh, through a couple of them. I think you'd have sent them in in terms of the, the permutations and, the, and, and what the betting man can, can look ahead to over the next couple of days. Um, and, and let's start off with Arsenal and Bayern Munich in terms of the odds there uh, for Arsenal winning or Bayern Munich winning or a draw coming out. All right, for Arsenal, the odds is $1.72, which tells you that the bookies or the odds maker see Arsenal winning. Um, $1.72 versus Bayern Munich getting $4.33. $4 for the draw, I, and it's by form. Arsenal has been playing well. Bayern Munich just lost to a promoted team this weekend. Uh, $1. seventy-two should let customers and betters know that, okay, let's see. Arsenal at home, we should be able to get that $1. seventy-two. I'd encourage persons to go out and bet early. I'm pretty sure this odds will change tomorrow. You might get $1. sixty tomorrow. Um, for Real Madrid at home, this is a little strange to me. $2.66 for win. Um, Man City $2.45. I think they are using cities as a defending champion. I don't think Real Madrid is playing that bad to be the underdog at home. Mm. I, for me, persons looking at both teams that are actually in form, persons would probably want to go for the draw so they can get $3.66 for the draw. You sound, Chris, as if you're favoring Real Madrid for that tie. Yes, I am. Why? I, I mean, I understand the point that you just made, that you think that Man City is wearing the strength of the fact that they are defending champions. But um, for, for quite some time, now, a lot of people have felt that they are the best team in Europe. Uh, they were. <laughs> but if you look at the last few results, um, take, for example, Saturday. Uh, Crystal Palace could have been three goals up by half time and that would have been very difficult even for a Man City to come back and win. When they went one up, 
they may stumble towards clear goals. So I am saying, based on playing and current form, I don't see Real Madrid. I, I'll take Real Madrid for a win or a draw at home against a City side. Yeah, but, actually... yeah, but isn't it sometimes um, unwise to use a team's domestic form to project what they will do in Europe? Sometimes it can be misleading. However, if you look on both teams, both teams, are, as a matter of fact, Man City scored 18 goals in the 19 goals in the group stage. Yeah. Real Madrid scored 16. Both of them conceded just seven goals. So they're basically, I would say, they're on the same form. For win six, or both of them win the six games in the in the in the group stages. So when I look at stats like that, I'll say I'll give the advantage to the home team not to lose. Mm. Not saying they might win. It could be win or a draw. And if you bet a win or a draw for our betting persons now, you can get probably a dollar fifty for Real Madrid. Yeah, Chris, the just bet popularity and and the the betting on on football matches, I don't think people recognize how how vibrant it is. Um, can you talk to us about how popular betting is on um, football matches in in Jamaica and the Caribbean? It is very popular especially just bet what we do we have something unique at just bet at just bet we do a weekly tip in the jamaica observer uh, myself and mark archer i i do a analysis of the games for the weekend i give you tips for two games for the weekend on football cricket just about any sport mark archer will give you tips on basketball nfl stuff like that However, um, we paid out $4 billion just last year. So what that said to us, um, persons are looking on the tip. Persons stay online, they bet online. We have an online platform at JustBetJA. You can go there, SupremesGame.com. Now that's our new online betting platform. So you could be sitting in your living come Sunday. Um, hopefully you don't bet on Liverpool this Sunday. And you could just go online and bet. So that is one of the the more easier way that persons have been tuning into us. People have been betting online. And I think the popularity in sports will just bet. It's starting to grow. Uh, so I think persons and then persons know, you know, persons have their smartphone, they go on the phone, they start looking at different teams, they start looking at odds, they start looking at tips. So that is how just bet has been growing. And then we offer the best odds locally. And when we compare ourselves with the international market, on a daily basis, I would, I would go online and check all the odds. And if I see, for instance, the 365 or Bet Chris, whichever one, so they're offering a dollar eighty for Arsenal to beat Bayern tomorrow. If you check my website, you'll see I will probably go for a dollar eighty five or a dollar ninety. So we offer the best odds, and I think that's one of the main thing that persons use to stick with us. Yeah, and for the people who aren't aware of how the the betting options can be can you talk to i know you can bet for a win or for either team or a draw but there is also a bet to 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 predict an exact result isn't there yeah man. we we have correct scores yes so you're a man you're a man um, so if you had bet yesterday 2-2 two, two for a correct score <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't know you would go there because it seemed that result seemed to have hurt you so emotionally. I, I wasn't it, sure you would go back to that result. It has, it has, it has hurt me badly. <laughs> but you would have gotten, you would have gotten six to one dollars for, for, for a result like that. Two, yes. Two. yes. Um, that six score, to one on a one dollar bet. A one dollar bet. Wow. So, correct score is one of our more popular options. But I'll tell customers it's not very easy to win. It's well, you would, have, you would have lost yesterday if you had bet on that because you, you for sure would have had Liverpool winning and winning comfortably too. I for sure would have done that. But I don't like to bet on Liverpool, especially at Old Trafford. That that, is but that, that doesn't sound good for a, a, a Liverpool fan, Chris. No, let me, no you see? Explain yeah, yourself, Liverpool yes. Liverpool fans that are just blinded by Liverpool. I look at stats. That is my job. My job is to put the stats out there for you, the betting public, yes. to win. Um, when I look at the game yesterday, 
we have been missing. Salah has not been Salah since he's back from his injury. I figured we would have, the best we would have gotten was a draw or a 1-0. We gave it away. We got 28 easy chances against my USA. Easy? Easy chances. 28. 28 In easy chances. I'm, I'm not sure if we saw the same match, Chris. You had 28 uh, shots. <laughs> I'm not sure about 28 easy chances, but proceed. Right. <laughs> In December, we had 38 shots on target. So, look at Liverpool and my 66 shots on goal. Uh, we only score literally five goals. Uh, when you have a team like Liverpool failing to put away clear cut chances, I am not going to give away my one. Even though I'm a fan, I would better than to win. Well, well, let's look at the other two matches. We're talking about PSG against Barcelona and Atletico Madrid against Dortmund. I reckon that the PSG Barcelona match could be could be pretty close. Um, what are your thoughts on it? PSG at home. I would give them the edge. They're more consistent. Barcelona is rounded in the form, but Barcelona is very inconsistent on the road. I expect PSG to win not comfortable, probably by a one one goal or two one margin. Uh, Atletico Madrid is terrible at the moment. Dortmund up and down. That this is a game that any one of these two teams could win. I'm not even sure who who I would pick to win, <laughs> but at home. Atletico Madrid have been good at home and they are getting the better. They are actually getting $1.78 to win and Bar Dortmund is getting $4.50. So the public is that, well, not even the public, odds makers going with Atletico Madrid for the win. Well, you think there are going to be goals in that game? That Atletico Madrid Dortmund game? I, I think there might be two goals in there. Just two? Man, just for the betting man, right. I would encourage them to bet. Gigi. Now this, I'm going in, I think Lance asked me about this before. So Gigi means two teams of sport. So if the game end up 1-1, one, 2-2, one, 3-3, two, two, three, three, Gigi you win. And you'll get a good odds up. Uh, for Gigi you'll get $3.80 for that, for both teams of sport. Yeah, and um, if, if we look at the games tomorrow, which are the, the games on our plate at the moment, of course, Sportsmax having coverage of, of, of the U, UCL. You've already suggested that you, you think you would give Real Madrid the edge over Manchester City. Can you repeat what your thoughts are on, on the other, the, the Arsenal Bayern Munich game? Well, Arsenal, I have Arsenal to win. I think they'll win easy, actually. Um, Real Madrid, I gave them the edge. Atletico Madrid, I think that game will draw. And PSG, I think they'll just edge it over Barcelona. Uh, there's one thing I need to say to, to the fans now. Buy a ticket for $1,500 with a Champions League game on that ticket, and you'll get a chance to win a trip. A trip courtesy of Supreme Ventures just made, but two all expense paid to the final of the Champions League this year. And that will be head as you know. At Wembley. Yeah, and, and that's for the, the Jamaican viewers. That's for the Jamaican viewers. Yes, we've been we've been promoting that for several weeks now on the Sports Max Zone, but that's a that's a massive opportunity, isn't it? Because um I've been in this business for decades and I've I've never watched a UEFA Champions League match live. Marcel, and unfortunately I I I won't be able to enter. But um I really would want some of my customers to enter and I really would love for somebody to win that. Yeah. Well, somebody must win. I hope it's somebody that has been betting with us from day one. Yeah. And it's an all expense paid trip for two. Yeah. And you Just said, one. and you said they have to bet fifteen hundred dollars or more. Minimum, yes. Minimum. And, a and it doesn't have to be all Champions League games. Yes. It could be just one Champions League match, and and then third persons put us on your ticket. Yes. Win or draw. Our, our Liverpool fan Chris Sawyer's great talking to you on the Sports Max Zone. We. Expect to have some more discussions in, in, in the weeks ahead as uh, we head into that big prize that uh, offers uh, from Just Bet and Sportsmax for a viewer to uh, watch a UEFA Champions League match live, the final at, at, at Wembley, and um, mm -hmm. other pr projections that you may have for the matches le leading up to that and the matches that will decide the two championship uh, battling teams. Thanks, Chris. We'll talk again soon. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. You have a great day now. Yeah, man. Thanks, Chris Sawyers there. Just bet, and we'll be back with more on the Sports Max Zone after this.